Hey, you! Yeah, you! Is there something I can help you with? What was that? I, I didn't catch it. I'm sorry, you'll have to speak up. Oh, you're curious about birth control. It's okay, you don't have to be embarrassed. Wondering about sex and contraception is perfectly natural. If you're curious about sex, there are important things that you should know. Come on, this is the door you're looking for. Welcome aboard. The first thing to know is that while sex is a natural and wonderful part of life, it's not something that you need to rush into. When you are ready for sex, it is important that it happens after two people agree that they are ready to engage in sexual activity. There are a lot of things that can happen and there can be good feelings, but if one partner has a uterus and the other makes a sperm, there's a risk of pregnancy. And of course, if any two people have sex and one already has a sexually transmitted disease, the other could get it too. It's okay, you don't have to be scared. When you are ready and if both people consent to having sex, you can use protection. So what should you be aware of before engaging in sex? Sexually transmitted diseases can be spread through sex if one partner has one and the other does not. There are no good STDs and some of them can be quite dangerous. While some of them can be cured, others need to be managed for life. There is also the risk of pregnancy. The best option is to protect yourself. But how do you do that? There are many different ways to protect yourself and your partner from STDs and pregnancy during sex. Condoms work by covering the penis and blocking sperm from getting to the egg or ovum when two people have penile to vaginal sex. Condoms are also an excellent barrier against STDs. You probably know about the pill that provides protection against pregnancy if you take it every day at the same time. But did you know that there are methods of birth control that last from 3 months up to 10 years? For example, Depo-Provera, also known as the shot, is a long-term method of contraception. A person with a uterus gets a shot in the arm or the buttocks from a doctor or family planning clinic like Planned Parenthood. Depo-Provera stops a woman from ovulating and also makes it harder for sperm to get into the uterus. You just get a new shot every 12 to 13 weeks and it's 99% effective. IUDs or intrauterine devices are also interesting. You can get an IUD from your doctor or family planning clinic. If a person decides to get one, the doctor places the IUD inside the uterus. The IUD can stay there for many years and only needs to be checked every so often. The IUD stops sperm from getting to the egg and is very effective at preventing pregnancy. It can be removed easily if there are any complications or if the person wants to have a baby when the time is right. Finally, there's the implant. This is a teeny tiny rod about the size of a matchstick that is inserted right under the skin on the upper arm where it is completely invisible. While it's there, it releases a hormone called progestin that keeps the ovaries from releasing an egg and helps block sperm from getting to the eggs in the first place. The implant can be kept in for up to 3 years and is also very effective against pregnancy. You can get any of these from your doctor or family planning clinic such as Planned Parenthood, and they are all very effective long-term options for preventing unwanted pregnancy. However, on their own, they don't protect against STDs. So how do we handle that? We combine condoms with one of those methods of contraception for the safest protection. Of course, you can always choose to wait until you are older to have sex if that's what feels right to you. Abstinence is when you choose not to have oral, vaginal, or anal sex and is the only 100% effective means of avoiding pregnancy and STDs. Remember, it's all about what feels right to you. If you are going to engage in sexual activity, be sure to be safe. Long-term birth control and sexual activity in general are big decisions. It's always best to talk to an adult that cares about you. If you need to, you can also talk to a healthcare provider, a counselor, or someone at a family planning clinic in your community like Planned Parenthood. So how do you feel now? Have all your questions been answered? Excellent! Hop into the teleporter and we'll take you right back to Earth. Now that you're back, remember all the things we talked about. If and when you feel ready for sex, make sure you're safe. And if you have any other questions, check out the other videos on this site, ask a trusted adult, or check with your doctor. And remember, you're amazing.